Mandy Long, CEO of Big Bear AI, thank you so much for joining me today. It's great to speak with you. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's start a little bit at the beginning. What, what, what specifically does Big Bear AI do? So we are an AI-powered analytics and decision intelligence company. Our mission is that we help to create clarity for the world's most complex decisions. I think one of the things that's a common misconception about Big Bear is that we are an emerging or a new company. We're not. We've been at this since 1988, providing advanced technologies to autonomous systems, cybersecurity, and supply chains and logistics. Yeah. I mean, all the rage right now in markets is, is around generative AI. So when we do talk about AI and what those technologies, capabilities, applications look like at Big Bear, I guess walk me, walk me through this moment, this tipping point technologically that we're in. We are absolutely in a tipping point. I think it, it can be said in another way, which is that we're going through the fourth industrial revolution and that there is a race underfoot associated with how this type of powerful technology is going to be adopted at scale. In our world, right, the vast majority of our customer base is in the federal government. We do a lot of work um, with the Department of Defense, the intelligence community, but we also work with hundreds of complex enterprises, specifically in the manufacturing, distribution, warehouse operations space. And so when you think about the application of AI in that world, you know, I mean, opportunities abound. And so for us, where we're focused, uh, so specifically if we take supply chains and logistics, we do a lot of the discrete event simulation capabilities, digital twin, right, is the current term for it, but we've been doing it for more than 20 years, and so we support organizations in dealing with a lot of the disruption that's happening right now in the global markets because supply chains are not open and free the way that they even were a couple of years ago, and so organizations rely on us to support them. In the world of cyber, uh, we do a lot of reverse engineering work. So we support um, not only agencies, but also commercial enterprises in understanding um, complex vulnerabilities at every layer right, of what they build and deliver to their client base. And then autonomous systems, um, as we recently announced through our partnership with L3 Harris, we're providing the artificial intelligence, the computer vision, predictive analytics, and descriptive analytics for their autonomous service vessel fleet. So we are, while we are a relatively small <laughs> A company, we are actually a, a pretty broad and deep portfolio. How quickly are you growing? We are growing actually very quickly. So our, uh, I came in October of, of uh, last year from IBM. Um, a lot of what we were focused on was transforming and being able to leverage the existing organic assets within the business to scale. Um, we had a great quarter, right, 16% year-over-year growth, and the rest of this year looks awesome. Um, I think the 2024 is going to be our our big year though, right? We are setting up a lot of diversification in our business as a result of the technology that we have and what's happening in the world. And we couldn't be better positioned. Yeah, I mean, you're, you, you went public, the company went public via SPAC back in uh, late 2021, if I, if I recall correctly. Uh, it's been on a wild ride since then. Um, and perhaps in part because AI is part of the name. I guess just walk me through what this uh, investor interest uh, or increase in, in investor interest uh, has meant for the company and, and, and how closely you have been watching the stock uh, in light of all of this. I, I think that is a fair summary of what has been happening <laughs> to the business. We, we have really benefited from an increasing level of awareness around the application of artificial intelligence in a variety of different sectors. And while we don't operate in them all, right, nor do we intend to, for us, uh, the broader population and the investor community gaining an understanding of just how powerful these technologies are and how relevant they are to today's problems has put Big Bear AI in a really remarkable position. And from a company standpoint, what's exciting to me is that I feel like the rest of the world is finally finding out what I knew and what brought me to Big Bear. Right? What I think we're one of the greatest kept secrets that's out there. And the more that people find out about what we do, right, the real things, right, the things that we have in operational production environments, not the PowerPoint, right, we don't do PowerPoint, we don't do vapor, I think the sky's the limit for us. Mm. Um, AI arms race, that's how, that's how I've heard some other folks kind of categorize yes. it. And, and not just on the commercial side, but also on the government side, and given the fact that you do uh, contract with the U.S. government, Yes. Uh, the Air Force, the Army, and, and other agencies as well. I, I wonder how you think about this right now, especially given the fact that so much of the conversation does center around the U.S. versus China, where these technological capabilities are concerned. Yeah, I think, look, we are sitting in an unprecedented 
unprecedented time, right? We are, I think, for the first time in a long time, looking down a future where in the next two to five years, we could be in a global conflict with a pure superpower who has been preparing. And as a result of that, you know, if you look at things like the projected federal AI spend in the coming years, there is an incredible amount of effort and resources appropriately being put into the preparation for that type of conflict so that um, we, right, as a society and as a country, can be prepared for what may, what may come of that. I think from, from Big Bear's perspective, and, and I've talked about this recently in, in earnings and some other environments, is our adversaries would love for us to hit the pause button. Right? That would work very well for them. We do not have that privilege. What we have to do right now is focus on how to apply and get a lot of these more research-oriented capabilities across the line in production and, you know, and create the type of governance models that can work to keep us safe and to enable these technologies to really unlock exactly what they're going to be capable of in the context of this arms race. Which, which of course raises the very large question, what do those governments, governance models need to look like, whether it's here in the U.S. or for example, in the EU, where you're seeing some of that proposed legislation move forward in terms of rules of the road. Yes. Yeah, and I, so today is a remarkable day because what we've seen is that there are material steps forward in, frankly, maturing the discussions associated with how to govern and oversee these types of technologies. Um, we, Big Bear AI, actually uh, submitted an open comment letter um, on the NTIA's AI accountability. Um, request and you know it's a, it's something that we feel very strongly about and we have a lot of experience in. So not only myself but other members of our organization have pretty direct experience in working with the regulation of complex technologies like artificial intelligence. And there are very important tenants associated with how that is going to go well, right? And and one of those big tenants, sort of more important than anything else, is open source. Um, there are a lot of organizations who leverage the open source but create closed and proprietary systems as a part of it, that is not how we are going to be successful. Right? The ability to leverage the open source, contribute back to it, and walk to a place where we can get tech regulating tech, that's the way that we're going to get there. Anything else to keep in mind about Big Bear or about this industry as it, as it evolves and grows right now? I, I think that the biggest message that I would have is that we are just getting started. We have a remarkable opportunity in front of us associated with the markets that we service and the customers that we feel a high degree of mission support around and passion for. And we'll have a lot more to share. Sounds good. Mandy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Morgan.